Eris has detected a gravitic anomaly beneath the spire. She thinks it's a ritual chamber. We call that the Arcane Oubliette. Savathun stores all kinds of drooling goons in there. Warm bodies for her magical experiments. If you want to feed blood and guts to your discount hive god, that's the place to do it. and death. I sense the oubliette beneath you, guardian. Assemble in the ritual space and we shall harvest the fruit of Sabathun's foul experiments as our own. After I resurrected Sabathun, she was dying to learn about her new light. But she needed test subjects to experiment on. Same way you use the poor slobs and gambit for target practice. Uh, listen to this. I named this chamber the Oubliette. After a human invention. A prison where the only exit is the ceiling, just out of reach. A place for people to be thrown in and forgotten. Until the time is right. This is where I'll keep in touch with all my bygone subjects, both as a queen and researcher.
like a surge of hot blood. Where are these subjects being summoned from? Some kind of suspended animation? Or well, maybe they're teleported from somewhere right into your gun sights. Ah, but what do you care? They're all just dead meat to you. Conjures forth horrors once cloistered, awaiting brutal deliverance. And so they shall receive it. Guardians one day. 
just as we share the light. But I know they won't approve of my methods. They love ungrids, but hate breaking eggs. Maybe participating in my rituals will expand their provincial sense of morality. Your arcane skill expands with each ritual you complete. Our powers will grow in tandem until we are ready to challenge the god of war herself. revel in violence, tithing with hive rituals. It was disturbing. Like it or not, your witch is gonna need a lot more tithes before she's powerful enough to challenge Sivu. So go ahead, sport. Make a mess. Enjoy yourself. Welcome to the hive. It's hard not to feel that this is my responsibility. While we in the tower gathered intel and debated over what action to take next, Eris threw herself into a dangerous ritual of her own devising. She was audacious. And she was right. We had to accept Savathun's bargain. We must pursue the witness at any cost. But 
I didn't imagine we would risk Eris in the exchange. She remains herself. I recognize Eris when I look into her eyes. She wears her new form like a suit of armor, but she speaks of whispers calling to her from the deep, and I have no assurance she can resist them forever. You must embrace the Hive rituals as she did. Offer your tithes so that she may gain the power she desires. And quickly, commit yourself to her guardian. I believe it is in everyone's best interest to keep her metamorphosis as brief as possible. Hive magic reveals itself in precise shapes. They follow the same lines and the same means, and yet our rituals still hold many secrets. Cards have scattered in the wake of your ablations. Our bomb made manifest. I call them the Deck of Whispers. And they do whisper. Each of their ideograms appears to carry the weight of symbolism. Do not fault them for the forms they take. They are reflections of the real, and as opaque as the natures of their referent. We will interpret their configurations, divine their use. They may hold many meanings, alone and in conversation. As with all hive magic, they ask us to separate the true from the dead. <laughs> 